we should discuss about the operating system subject now. So before starting the subject, let us summarize what are the topics which we are going to study here. So in the operating system subject, gate examination, it is a very important subject. It, it is a portion where you can score maximum amount of marks. Here what you can do is in operating system, you can expect somewhere around 6 to 8 marks. Out of the 100 marks, you can expect so somewhere around 6 to 8 marks in operating system. And this is a very important subject. Why? Because it is very easy to understand. And this is a portion where you can uh, attempt all the questions and you can get the correct answer for all the questions. And th here it is, uh, this subject is very important for this. Okay. So let us discuss about the topics which we are going to study in this subject. Number one, initially we are going to study the introduction and the background of operating system. Number two, we are going to discuss about the processes. What are the processes? What are the basic terminologies related to the processes? So that is that comes under the process concepts. And then we are going to discuss about the different state diagrams of a process. That means what are the states at which a process can be. And then we are going to discuss about the CPU scheduling, where we have first come first serve site scheduling. Then we will discuss about the shortest job first scheduling. Uh, it, here we are going to discuss about the shortest remaining time first scheduling with uh, using the shortest job first scheduling. Then we have longest job first scheduling. Then we will discuss about the longest remaining time first scheduling. Then we will discuss about the priority scheduling, round robin scheduling, highest response ratio next scheduling, and the multi level feedback queue scheduling. Okay. And then we are going to discuss about the process synchronization. Here we are going to uh, discuss about the different uh, synchronization algorithms. Even we, we, we are also going to discuss about the different problems here. For example, producer consumer problem and dynamic philosopher problems. We are going to discuss all these problems in the section which is process synchronization. Then we are going to discuss about the multi-threading concept and the concurrent programming concept. And then we are going to discuss about the deadlocks. And then we will go to the next concept which is the memory management. And this memory management is also a very important topic. Here initially we are going to discuss about the implementation and what is the need of memory management in operating system. And then we, we can uh, categorize the memory management in two types of categories. Number one is contiguous memory management and second one is non-contiguous. Then uh, we will discuss about the address binding and linking and loading. And then we are going to discuss about the virtual memory. After discussing the virtual memory, we are going to discuss about the techniques in memory management where we are going to discuss about the paging, multi-level paging, inverted paging, segmentation, segmented paging and then we will discuss about the file management and device management and then protection and security. Right? Now in operating system subject, this portion which is the process concept, CPU scheduling and uh, this portion and process synchronization. It is a very important portion. Out of all, the, if we say that uh, we have 100% of operating system, then 40% uh, of the questions approximately will come from this section and then rest of the 40% 40 40% will come from this section and this section. Okay. So these two sections are the most important subjects because it is going to cover your 80% of your syllabus and then most of the theory questions are going to be asked from the introduction background, file management, production security, etc. Right. So let me just uh, here deadlock is also a very important topic. Right. So you can expect some questions from this topic also. Right. So we are going to discuss the operating system subject in full detail. And then the book which we are going to follow in this subject is the Galvin book, which is the red book which you can find in any uh, uh, any uh, shop nearby you. So we are strictly going to follow the Galvin book. And in, for some topic we are going to follow the ten bomb book. And I will tell you what are the to uh, what are the topics I'm going to following from which book. Okay. So we'll discuss everything from uh, the start to the end. Everything which I, whatever I'm going to discuss in this subject, uh, you can take down notes for every uh, for all these things. And uh, whatever I'm going to teach here uh, in these video lectures, it will be enough for you uh, to attempt any competitive examination. Either it is gate or it is for uh, BARC or it is for DRDO. Right. So we are going to discuss previous year questions from the following. We are going to discuss previous year questions from gate last 25 year questions. Then we'll discuss questions from BARC. Then we'll discuss questions from DRDO. Uh, then we'll discuss questions from Asmin ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. And then 
some local industries like jnu etc so we'll discuss about the questions which are asked in the examinations uh, in in these examinations right so we'll cover everything and uh, number of questions which we are going to discuss will cover everything from start to the end whatever i'm going to uh, discuss in this subject will be enough for you to crack any any of these competitive examinations okay so now let us start the subject now let us discuss what is an operating system so operating system acts as an interface between the computer hardware and the software so as you can see in this diagram here i have drawn that this is a computer hardware then operating system resides over the computer hardware and then it uh, provides an interface to this application program so that this application program can use the computer hardware efficiently okay so let us read out here so it is this application and system programs defines the way in which the computer resources are used to solve the computing problems of a user right and here this operating system controls and coordinates the use of hardware among the various application programs for various users and this computer hardware provides a basic computing resources now what are these basic computer resources so we have a word which is called as resources in this case now there can be multiple types of resources a resource uh, we can have a cpu time as a resource right cpu is an important resource we have a memory space which is an important resource we have file storage io devices these all are resources even if let us uh, say we have printers now printers are also resources now if there are multiple programs or there are multiple users who are communicating with this computer then we want to use the hardware of the computer as efficiently as possible now there are various challenges which the operating system is going to face operating system faces lot of lots of challenges for example we have a challenge called as synchronization synchronization is an important challenge so one of the important functionality of operating system is to manage resources now for example we want to do synchronization synchronization means let us suppose if there are two processes we can say if there is a process which is p1 and there is a process which is p2 now p1 and p2 both wants to work on a shared resource variable let us suppose this is a shared resource variable a p1 p1 also want to update uh, this data member and p2 also wants to update this data member now they uh, both of them wants to work on the same data variables now because of this we get lot of issues which is those issues are related to synchronization and operating system is there to solve the issues related to synchronization also okay so let us read out here operating system acts as an interface between the computer hardware and the user so this is the computer hardware this is the application program and this is the user and both these multiple users are going to work on the computer uh, application programs for example you have ms word you have powerpoint you have ms sql all these are the application programs right so user work on the application program and this application program communicate with the operating system with the help of some interface right so which is they are going to use apis most of them are called as application programming interfaces right so we have you can say the operating systems is similar to a government what is a government government is something which itself does not have a meaning government itself does not perform any work but governments facilitate you to provide an environment government you can say government provides an environment where the citizens can perform their own task or they can work efficiently so in the similar way operating system is also like a government itself operating system does not perform any meaningful work but giving some users which are going to use this operating system this operating system is going to facilitate an environment by using this environment you can perform your task efficiently so we have two types of operating system which we can use number one we can have a server operating system right and number two we have operating system for the personal user uh, for a user home based user right so if we talk about the server operating system then the primary goal of the operating system is efficiency and secondary goal of the operating system is convenience but if you are going to use the home based or personal operating system then the primary goal is convenience and secondary goal is efficiency now this question is asked many times many times uh, in examination they are going to ask what is the goal of operating system in that case we are only going to discuss about the this these goals so right? this this question is already asked in the previous examinations i i don't remember whether it is asked in isro or 
I think it is asked in DRDO. In DRDO, they have asked that what is the goal of operating system. The goal of our primary goal of operating system is convenience, and the secondary goal of the operating system is efficiency. Okay. Now we have different types of operating system which we are going to summarize in the next section. So we have open, uh, batch operating system, we have multi programming operating system, we have multi tasking operating system, or you can say these are also called as time sharing operating system. We have a real time operating system and we have multi processor operating systems. So we have all these different types of operating systems. So what we are going to do is in the next coming videos, we are going to discuss about all these types of operating system and then we'll jump on to the process concepts. Okay. So write down all this, please focus on this, uh, on this diagram and these words. So you can write down this as, as, a, as, as a notes also. Okay.